Hey guys, welcome to Lighthouse Tarot, where we embrace the light within ourselves and within others. I'm your host, Rachel Riley. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. Thank you for being here. If you're an old subscriber, welcome back. Thank you so much for all your lovely comments, likes, and subscribes. That really helps with the YouTube algorithm push my videos right up to the top. So thank you so much for being here today, but let's get right into it. Today, I want to talk about Scorpio Risings and following your intuition. This is my personal experience as a Scorpio rising with Pluto in the first house and you know how I've grown and how I've learned to better pull into and hone into my intuition and what has happened when I haven't actually listened to my intuition. But first, before I get into this, I'm going to be referencing my notes throughout this entire thing so I can give you the best video experience possible but I got an intuitive message. I've been getting these intuitive messages, not from one tarot reading, but from three different tarot readers on YouTube to go watch The Prince of Egypt. I don't know if you guys have heard of this movie before. It's an old movie. It's like DreamWorks Studio. And it's about, you know, Genesis. It's about Joseph and that that story in the Bible and it's reenacted in this movie, The Prince of Egypt. So I put this on for my daughter this morning. I started watching it, it's been a while. And when I watched it, I thought about it and it made me really think about Scorpio Risings, right? Because I feel like Scorpio Risings were kind of like Joseph. Like maybe we, well more definitely, we always attract attention without doing anything. And if there, there's a song in The Prince of Egypt where they're like, you are a miracle child, you shine the best, <laughs> you are the brightest. And with that, they were, you know, Joseph's dad, he was really happy that Rachel had a son and it was a miracle. She couldn't have kids. She had Joseph. So he kind of coddled him and told him, you're amazing, you're special, made all his brothers jealous, made him a special coat, coat made out of rainbows. So I feel like with Scorpio Risings, you know, we attract a lot of attention without doing anything. Joseph didn't do anything. He just was. And they, they're like, you're destined for success. But think about it. He went from feeling the best, feeling special, feeling important to the worst possible situation. He was sold into slavery. He was betrayed. Betrayal, that is a theme for all a Scorpio Risings. One thing we can all agree on, no matter what your sun sign, moon sign, as a Scorpio Rising, we are constantly betrayed at a young age and it follows us into teenagehood, into adulthood over and over and over and over until we transcend, until we find our purpose, until we heal, until we decide to listen to our intuition. Even then, I feel like it happens so we can relate with other Scorpio risings and we can talk on this where other signs may not have as much experience. So I just thought of that intuitively and I thought I'd share that little bit with you. I feel like Scorpio risings, we relate to Joseph we attract a lot of attention without necessarily doing anything and that can cause jealousy and betrayal in the worst form. I feel like Scorpio Risings, we kind of get the shit end of the stick sometimes and we're really pushed into things that are not fair, but then we flip it. We flip it like Joseph in the King of uh, the, the Prince of Egypt. He becomes the Prince of freaking Egypt and he saves his family out of starvation and they have to come back and bow before him and say, oh my gosh, we're so sorry we sold you into, like, into slavery. We're so sorry about this. Please help us. Please save us. And he went from, you know, this slave to the someone of great power. So Scorpio Risings, even if you're going through a transition where you're being treated unfairly, where you're going through a betrayal, I feel that you have the potential. All of us have the potential. And our purpose is to be in a place of power, to take our power back, to be in a place of authority and to help others, not to use it, not to manipulate that power, but we are all destined for power, right? You feel me? So anyway, I thought I would share that with you. I feel it is very, it has to do a lot with this video, but yeah. Intuition with Scorpio rising. What are your signs of intuition? So a sign of intuition for me physical signs of this is a gut feeling. Anytime you're like, say you're hanging out with friends and you're friends of a friend, you're in a big group of friends, everyone's having fun, it's chill, and then you have a friend and their friend Bob walks in and you suddenly feel weird. There's nothing wrong with Bob. He has a good personality. He's a funny guy. He's attractive, whatever, but something feels kind of off and you feel it in your gut. 
you're going to feel it in your gut as a Scorpio rising as any sign with your intuition and you're going to know something's not right. You could be dating someone and you could feel that day just something is not right. Something doesn't feel good. The first sign of your intuition is a gut feeling. The second one that I recently learned about is called a highlight. So with a Scorpio rising, you're a water sign, you're very intuitive, you, it comes naturally to you. It's a very, very strong intuition. You probably had psychic abilities when you were growing up. So with Scorpio rising, a highlight is when you're going about your day and a specific piece of information, for some reason, there's nothing really important about it in the moment, it sticks out to you. It's highlighted. It's kind of like when I was reading this book and it was like, click, take a pick and um it was about a girl that had photographic memory and she would and she described it as oh i take a picture in my mind and then i go back to the crime scene i remember everything visually with my photographic memory so it's kind of like that you have a photographic memory and you click it and you feel highlight and you're like oh this is important i need this information for later i don't know why i don't know how i don't this doesn't seem significant in the moment but later this highlight will show you something it could be Perhaps you see something that has to do with someone cheating on you. Perhaps it's, you see something that um, you know something is about to go down and you overhear a conversation about you and then you intuitively feel this person doesn't have the best intentions and you remember something they said and then later it comes out in the open, right? That's a highlight. That's when a specific piece of information stands out to you and that's your spirit guides and your spirit animals and your ancestors and yourself showing you this information to save you to essentially help you get on the defense right so those are some signs of intuitions and third your guides of course will send you signs of intuition they will let you know you know how people really feel about you they will put you in the right place at the right time they'll send you like um i don't know you'll just you'll you just find things out that my guides especially if you pray to your spirit guides a lot if uh you believe in prayer or you spend a lot of time meditating and you know taking care of yourself and do a shadow work your spirit guides will reward you and protect you and reveal people's true intentions towards you even if it's painful even if it hurts your spirit guides have your back so they're going to let you know some things other people don't know especially if you do the work but more so all the time because you're scorpio rising you just got that intuition guys so for me anytime my intuition was not followed bad shit happened. So for example, I felt when I was younger, I was living in a house that was in not a great uh, area. And I was like, Oh, I really feel like I need to move. I really feel like I need to move. But I don't want to I get and I kept getting signs like it's time to move on. It's time to move like they're, they're, they're like letting go of fire. <laughs> they're letting go they're, they're They're cracking firecrackers in the middle of the night. And the next day, and the next day, keeping you and your baby up, you need to get out of here. There's like, things going wrong with the trash and I was like no nah, no nah, and I just ignored it I was like I, I need to move but I don't want to move I don't want to pack I don't want to move I don't want to restart I don't want to do all that and then one night thankfully my daughter was not there she was at her dad's but one night and she usually plays in the living room in front of the tv I was sleeping and I heard I saw this flash of light it was just like whoosh, and then this really loud noise and I just intuitively thought someone's breaking in someone's trying to kill me let me get my pepper spray so I got up and I was like all right who's coming out I don't know why that's just like intuitively a Scorpio rising I don't think to call the cops or anything I'm just like all right let's go <laughs> and I opened the door and just like dust hits me and I'm like what and I look in my living room and guys like the entire living room from the bottom of the floor towards like half the room was filled with with drywall the entire attic over the living room had entirely caved in the whole living room was filled of like that um drywall and like those little fuzzy things <laughs> the heat stuff in the attic everything was covered and if my daughter had been there she would have went to the hospital like it just fell in in the middle of the night thankfully nobody was there nobody was hurt but that was a sign I needed to follow my intuition and move but I refused to listen and I suffered that consequence and then I was like now I have to move you will find as a Scorpio rising 
when you don't listen to your intuition, when you try to like make excuses or like, I can make this work, they can change. The universe will force you to move. Like, I feel that like I kept going back to a certain person in my life over and over. I had like a situationship and no matter what they would do to me, I would go back. I would go back. I would go back. I had a lot of trauma. I had it addressed a lot of inner work. I was still working through and I wasn't completely healed at that time. So what the universe did, they, it, the universe broke my car, broke my vehicle, and then didn't give me the time to have enough savings to go ahead and purchase another vehicle. For, so when I had a separation from that person and I was like, okay, I'm going to move on. There were times I wanted to go see them. There's times I wanted to go contact them. And when I had my vehicle, I would, I would just like, think about it. I'm like, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Okay. I'm going to do it. And I would go up there and I would just go see them. That person I would get in my vehicle and just doo, 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 drive down the road, and just show up, hang out with them. But the universe is like, enough, it's done. We're going to make sure you do not do this. Even if you have these like thoughts, we're going to take the vehicle away until, you know, you can get it together and then you'll get another one once your feelings have been pushed through. Because as Scorpio risings, especially if you have an air sign sun, I'm in a Scorpio rising Aquarius and then a Virgo moon. So I have extra detachment as well as overthinking together because Virgo is ruled by Mercury and then Aquarius has that, you know, Uranus and Saturn combined, just like the thinking, you're always thinking air sign. So you want to be detached. You want to avoid your feelings, but then the Scorpio rising, you feel everything so deeply, but you don't show people. So during that time, I feel like my spirit guides were like, look, you need to address your feelings and we don't want you to mess up your progress because you're doing really well and you're living in your career and you're being your authentic self. So we're going to remove this vehicle for you so you can confront your feelings and fully get over this person and fully heal from this person, fully, fully, you know, live your potential. So that's another thing that will happen when you're not listening to your intuition. It will, the universe will kind of step in. (laughs) So another time I didn't listen to my intuition, I, you know, was actually, I ended up getting kicked out of a house because I didn't listen to my intuition to go ahead and find a place ahead of time. And I ended up being in kind of a traumatic situation, being kicked out. I won't really talk about it on here. But the third time I didn't listen to my intuition was when I had a dream that my current boyfriend at the time was cheating on me. And I was like, no, no, no. And then like a week later, he ended up fessing up and he was like, yeah, I did. Another time with my intuition, I was messing around with somebody and we were not dating, but we kind of had that assumption that like, there was potential and we were acting like we were dating and they told me they were only talking to me. But I started to feel weird around this person. I started to feel like something was off. Their energy was different. I kind of felt like they were hiding something. So I asked my spirit guides recently. I'm like, hey guys, like, let me know if I'm just being paranoid, you know, show me that I'm being paranoid, paranoid. Show me that this person is trustworthy. But if this is true and they are hiding something, if they are cheating if they are lying if they're being shady if they do not have good intentions for me that's a, that's one other thing with your intuition you can ask your guides ask your higher self show me someone's intentions because when you say show me someone's intentions you are not assuming it's bad or good you're just saying hey fact factual what are their intentions are they good are they bad are they okay right now are they changing are they long term are they short term you're asking a very broad question that is neutral so I asked my spirit guides hey what are their intentions I looked at a tarot reading and guys I had the worst tarot reading ever it really revealed a lot about them it said that like they were putting me in rotation they were acting one way but they were really like a f boy f girl they were stringing me along they were using me for emotional support and after that's all I needed to know and I also had you know a highlight happen where They lied about a specific thing and I found out the truth about it and I acted on it and I looked up, you know, body language of someone lying and they, you know, ended up acting in that way. So I like put all these three things together because Scorpio rising, I feel like we're detectives. So put all these three things together. So yeah, after that happened, I just acted quick. I listened to my intuition. I was like, okay, this is a bad situation. This person is not being honest with me. Therefore, I do not need to have them around my energy. That's not what I'm here for. And yeah. 
so I moved. So that's another like reason, like, uh, because I, for about a week, I wasn't sure. And I was like, no, no, no. But then the signs just got more prominent. I started not feeling good. I had that gut feeling around this person. It hurt in my stomach. I started feeling like icky after we hung out. And then another thing with Scorpio Risings, like the Dolan twins talk about this. If you feel like you have to change yourself around somebody, if you feel like you you can't be yourself you can't talk about the things you're passionate about you can't dress the way that you want you can't wear the type of makeup you want you can't express yourself how you usually do and you're starting to change yourself to kind of like merge with that person that's also a sign that they're not for you and intuitively i would move on because we do have a tendency as scorpio risings to lose ourselves with with other people because we we give ourselves so fully we're like the black and white sign we're very passionate very intense we're gonna get in there and we can lose ourselves and because we want you know so badly for it to work out and to invest in it that we're willing to sacrifice ourselves if we're not evolved enough so yeah if if it's another sign if you're around somebody that you want to potentially date or even a friend, even friend wise, I've had to cut people off. If you're starting to change yourself, if you're feeling bad around them, that's a sign to listen to your intuition. So yeah, that was just, you know, how I feel intuitively as Scorpio Risings. I feel that we are blessed from the universe, from our guides, from nature, being born as a Scorpio Rising by that chance of having a higher than usual intuition. We can know when people are cheating on us. We know when people are lying to us. We know when people have ill intentions, when they're saying something to our face, but they're thinking something. We almost have like, we can tell people's thoughts, not the word exactly what they're thinking, but we can feel their energy. Someone could be like, have a nice day. And we're thinking like, oh, they just want me to fuck off because we can tell we can, we can see people's auras. We can feel people's auras and their intentions. And it's almost like we don't even want to because I know I've had this in my life when I really wanted it to work out with someone, right? I really wanted this friendship to work out. I really wanted this um, romantic partner to work out. I really wanted this job to work out. I try and try, but I, can, I feel like it's time to move on. And it's interesting. I watched another Scorpio Rising video and she said that we can start to feel claustrophobic when we're about to go through a transition, through a change. And kind of like in the box too much and it can cause self-combustion if we don't go with the change if we don't go with the flow if we don't go with the transformation we can just like explode on everyone and everyone around us everybody's going down it's kind of like if I'm going down you're all coming with me that kind of vibe (laughs) as a Scorpio rising so it's best to kind of like get out of a situation before you get to that point right to listen to your intuition like okay it's time for me to move again it's time for me to change my appearance again it's time for me to go in a different direction in my career it's time for me to take action it's time for me to take a risk it's time for me to you know be my best self and I feel that like a lot of people want to control us too as Scorpio risings especially in relationships so spirit and the universe will take people out of our life to put us back in our power because all of us are destined for great things I truly believe every Scorpio rising is destined to be in a place of authority to change the world on a larger sense And I don't know, I can't tell you specifically what it is, but I do know like you are capable of having your own business. You're capable of being a motivational speaker, of being a teacher, of being a healer, of changing people on a large collective as a Scorpio rising. So when you have all this power, when you have all this potential spirit and your universe, what I feel, it's not going to allow you to be with people who bring you down, to be with people who are insecure, with be, to be around people that make you smaller than you are. The universe knows you're destined for great things. So they're going to cut that out. Even if it's painful, even you're like, oh my gosh, I have like no friends now. Like, oh my gosh, my love life, what? There's not existing. Or, oh my gosh, like, I don't know what's going on with my career. I'm kind of scared, kind of feel unstable. The universe is going to be like, good, because you're meant for greater things, because your energy is better invested in yourself because you're going to change a lot of people, because you are going to follow your destiny, follow your purpose, discover who you are, to travel, to to learn more about yourself, about what you like. What do you want out of like the earth? What do you want to offer people? How can you be your biggest and best self? If you want to be the most confident version of yourself, if you want to change the world on a collective level, you have to have put a lot of energy into that, like taking care of your appearance, your diet, you know, you know, uh, investing in your career, learning skill sets that would be wasted if people are tearing you down and messing with your confidence or you're chasing them and dealing with emotional problems. 
is not for you. And I feel that all of us with Scorpio risings, that's why that happens. So don't feel bad if, you know, you go through a lot of betrayal, even if you've done your shadow work, even if you've confronted your childhood trauma, you're like, why do I still get betrayed? Why do people still do this to me? I don't understand. Why are they leaving my life? And your, your universe is like, we're giving you something better. We want you to invest time in you because you're important, because you have a lot to offer, because you're powerful, because you're destined to be an authority, because you're destined to change the world. And we don't want your precious energy wasted on people that are not good for you. So that's my take on Scorpio rising and intuition. Let me know when was one time you listened to your intuition and it really saved your life. It really like helped you. And what is one time that it didn't, you didn't listen to your intuition and kind of put you in a bad situation. I'm curious to know. Thank you guys so much. Drop a yellow heart if you stayed to the end. I love you guys. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, night. Goodbye.